this is Amy. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how I do an easy filbert brush flower on this clear glass bottle. I will be using two A Magic filbert brushes, a number 10 and a number 12. I do link my products down below the video if you'd like to make a purchase through that. Um, I do have affiliate links to see down below. I'm also going to be using a number two Deerfoot stippler and then my favorite Bastonia nail brush. I really probably need to invest in a new one, but I use it all the time. I am going to be using Aqua. These are all folk art paints, forest moss, yellow ochre, burnt umber and wicker white. I do use a combination of the multi-surfaces and the enamel paints, uh, just so that you know. Alright, so I'm going to start off with the, the larger of the two filbert brushes. And because of the way I'm set up here, it doesn't give me a big space to show what I'm doing, but I'll quickly show you. I'm just going to load this brush with the aqua and I'm just going to tip it into the white. I have already washed with soap and water this bottle and then put uh, one over it with rubbing alcohol. So it's ready to go. I am just going to be painting the front side of this bottle just so that you know. I normally do paint the entire bottle, not just the front. But this is just a very easy stroke. I'm just putting it down and then turning my brush a little towards the center. You can make this four, five, six petals. It doesn't really matter. Up to you. They don't all have to be the same amount either. That one seems to have a lot of white in it, so I'm going to go over it. The most important thing when you're painting on glass is that you get really good coverage because the the more opaque your paint is, the more durable your design will be. And that just means that it will hold up more to not being scratched easily, uh, that type of thing. If you are painting and you feel like it needs another coat, feel free to do that. Just be careful because sometimes it can actually pull the paint up from underneath so you might have to just do really light coats. Now this design I'm intending it to be painted close like where I'm overlapping. Kind of making a pattern in a sense. The filbert brushes are fun to paint with too. If you have any questions or comments, please place those down below the video. I would appreciate it. If you feel like you're getting too much paint on your paintbrush, feel free to wipe it off like on a paper towel or a towel of some sort. I would avoid wash, washing it with water because water can actually weaken this paint. So you don't want to use water to thin it down or uh, wash the brushes out while you're still using them. Now, of course, once you're done using them, then you can wash them out with soap and water. I like to use Dawn soap to wash my brushes with. Like I said, it's very simple, meant to be a simple pattern. My whole channel, actually, the point is to provide you with simple patterns to do, simple designs. If you're a beginner painter, they should be perfect for you. If you're an experienced painter, you can use it just to give you some ideas. And then create from there your own designs. Okay, I 
just want to make sure I'm staying on my screen. So I've had issues with my, my video camera, so some of my videos I'm using a, my regular camera for. And it works a little bit differently as far as the videos go. I just want to make sure I have good, 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 good coverage. Don't like this point right here. Pull it in there a little bit. Just very easily. All right, I'm going to stop with that, and then I'm going to pick up my other brush. And on that, I'm basically going to be doing the same thing. I just don't want my my uh, bottle to roll. I'm going into the forest moss, and I'm going to stick it into the yellow ochre. Just trying to do some different combinations of colors. And then I'm just going to do some real easy leaves. Now you can do it like this where you're putting them together to make one leaf. Or you can do it, and I think on my sample I did more like this where you're just doing the single you know, just a single pull like that. But I'm just gonna go around and trying not to stick my bottle on the table so that I don't pull the paint off. And you can do like another one here. I picked up some blue, not sure why. Again, sorry about the furnace. That's where I do my videos. All right, I'm going to come over here. Try to do it so you can see it. And I did pull on a little bit of the blue. When you're working wet on wet, and you're using the same colors you're gonna take that risk but that's fine I don't mind if you do then you might want to dry in between coats give it some dry time and this one I think I'm gonna go ahead and try to do it as one leaf and then pull in some more over here and I'm pulling in a little bit of that blue or that aqua and that's okay now you might want to even put in some in between because this is just more of a pattern type style of painting like that and you say, hey, I want to put one in there. It's okay. And you don't have to do two if you don't want to. You can just leave it at one. I kind of like two or three. And I think I got more of the blue on there. Dag nabbit. Gotta watch that blue. And I can do it with three. See how easy it is though, if you can hold a brush, my designs are very simple. And I think painting is a great way to relax. Anytime you, you wanna be creative, that's just a better way to, you know, just help you get through, through the day, get through life in general. Now, one thing I need to point out too is I am left-handed, so the direction that I go when I'm creating something or the direction I start can be different than what you would do if you are right-handed. So if I'm starting a, heading this direction, you might tend to go the opposite. It's, it, 
you just have to adjust based on which hand you use and what your comfort level is and the direction that you're going. All right, so I'm gonna stop with this. Like I said, you can keep going with it just to add more if you'd like. But I'm going to work on the centers next. So basically, I am loading my little Deerfoot stippler with the yellow ochre. And I'm gonna come through, since it is wet still, I'm gonna come through and pounce in the center with yellow ochre first. And you can vary the size of your centers. They don't all have to be the same. But it's definitely easier to tap these in if it's dry because you're going to definitely pick up the colors from below when you're doing it wet on wet. Heat guns are nice to use. And so, you know, you can use a hair dryer too if you want. All right, and then I'm gonna kinda try to clean this out a little bit, do the back heel with the burnt umber. But I do, I don't leave it with a glop of paint. I do actually tap it off. And then I'm just gonna come in here and just lightly kinda hit this. And I don't care that it's that if it's a real nice and neat center, I kind of like them to be a little bit loose, if you want. Better word for it. Just tap, tap, tap a little bit in. And you can have them going in different directions too. They don't have to all be the brown at the bottom. The brown can be at the side, the top just depending on which direction the flower, you want the flower to appear to be pointing. Then I'll go back over it a little bit with some yellow. I'm trying to make sure I'm on here and I, I apologize if I'm not on the screen very well. I'm trying to make sure. Okay. I'm just gonna come, whoops, I hit that one too much. So I'll have to come, you can keep playing with your centers too. You can play with these for a long time if you want. Like this one, I'm gonna come back in here. Touch it up a little bit. You can even put some dots in here if you want. I always like to add a little bit of white to mine. A little bit of white. And then we're almost done. I appreciate you sticking with me. And there you go. Now the, the one other thing that I will do is take my little my fine liner and then just do some swirlies in here the only problem with these is that they are very thin so you know that they would be prone to just to uh, being scratched you know coming off whatnot but if you put it over the actual design that would help to to alleviate some of that but I think it just gives it just a little bit more interest as you're doing it, as you're creating the design. It doesn't have to be, you know, where you're doing swirlies, you can actually just do, you know, like this if you want. And sometimes I'll go back through and do that. So I have like maybe a double layer. That just kind of fills it in more. Or you could do, do it with two different colors even if you wanted it to stand out a little bit more all right so there we have it easy peasy I hope you like this if you do make sure you give me a big thumbs up new to my channel please subscribe hit that notification bell and before you leave please share this on your social network with all your family and friends 
I would appreciate it. I'm trying to grow my channel and that would help immensely. All right, until the next time, please stay safe and healthy and you have a good one.